Guerrilla sales skyrocket after the latest guerrilla attack. AIG blows all the goodwill built up by Wall Street in recent years, and Taylor Swift is now dating James Holmes. It's time for a comprehensive look at this week's news events approved by the Illuminati, Freemasons, and our alien overlords. This is the Onion Week in Review. Shortly after realizing that his mother forgot to pay his most recent phone bill, 29-year-old Tom Flanagan reminded her to really be careful about that kind of thing. Mom, the phone company called today about my cell phone bill. Oh, I'm so sorry. I completely forgot. No, m Mom, I'm not mad, but you have to stay on top of these things. Just so you know, you know, this really easy thing you can do, you know, is this online auto pay you just deducts in your bank account every month. Yeah, Quite yeah easy. I, I know. Okay. I know. I, I know. It's, it's fine. I know it's, fine. it's fine. It's fine. Just. Don't let it become a pattern, you know, I know, I know, I know you can do better than this. A police raid this week revealed appalling conditions within Cosmopolitan Magazine's Male Pleasure Laboratory. Investigators discovered dozens of weak and frightened men being cruelly abused by Cosmo researchers for the monthly magazine's exhaustive studies of male stimulation. Video evidence obtained from the lab shows subjects enduring hours of grueling treatment, including diet alteration, extensive prodding and probing, and dangerous exposure to sexual stimuli blasted sultry songs into my ears and made me simulate 50 crazy hot sex moves. They said I couldn't rest until they found the bliss button on my randy regions. James didn't make it. They kept spraying him over and over again with seductive scents until he just couldn't take it anymore. I'll always remember the last look he gave me. According to reports this week, 27-year-old Mark Felder has an alarming level of pride for his alma mater, the University of Miami, an institution which left him $50,000 in debt and completely unprepared for the current job market. Felder, who graduated from the school in 2007 with a Bachelor of Science degree in communications, told reporters he fondly remembers watching Hurricanes football games, hanging out at local bars, and regularly going to the beach while attending the school that failed to teach him any marketable skills whatsoever. I would not trade my time at the University of Miami for anything. Miami has the best college experience in the country, hands down. I had an awesome time there, and it's an amazing place. I've got the U in my blood forever. It's like a family. When you're a cane, you're a cane for life. Miami's a good school, too. People forget that. I think we have one of the best business schools in the country, and I'm pretty sure our law program's in the top 10. And in local news, only the difficult pistachios are left. In other news, an overweight six-year-old vows to change his life after his latest heart attack. An Air Force One pilot invites an excited Obama to the cockpit, and a career spider is unsure if she's ready for 3,000 children at this point. And here we are, an awkward and completely uncomfortable stopping place. Just the perfect time to say, ta-ta for now. For more, visit theonion.com.